They're slimy, they're smelly, they're covered in fuzz. I'm Lauren Taus and I'm here to answer the question. Do shrooms go bad? Here's how to stay away from bunk shrooms. When it comes to dosing mushrooms, it's better to be conservative and leave some room over for next time, if need be, than to overdo it. If you've acquired more mushrooms than you can consume in one sitting, you may want to store them until they're ready for another trip. So this begs the question, do shrooms go bad? The short answer is yes, of course. It's common sense, right? Over time, the active chemicals will break down, says Drew Bolitho, owner of mushroomspawnstore.com. It varies based on the storage method. Stored properly, mushrooms can last years. Once mushrooms lose potency, they're hard to dose correctly because there's no way to tell exactly how much of their psychoactive compounds remain. Another possibility is that mushrooms can develop bacteria or mold. It's essential to look out for signs that this has happened because you may be sensitive to whatever is responsible for making the mushrooms go bad. Many people are very sensitive to mold spores. You can get sick to your stomach or develop respiratory problems. Fresh shrooms can rot, get moldy, or otherwise get contaminated quickly, especially if they're not stored properly. However, it is possible to dry them so that they won't go bad. Fresh mushrooms should be stored in a paper bag with a paper towel at the bottom in a refrigerator. If stored in a paper bag, they won't go bad. They should just dry out unless the paper becomes oversaturated with water. Dried mushrooms become less potent over time. Specifically, shrooms gradually lose their concentration of tryptamine, a chemical that acts on the brain to produce psychedelic effects like hallucinations. But if stored airtight, they won't go bad in a way that will make you sick. In other words, while poorly stored dried shrooms can pick up mold and bacteria like fresh shrooms, well-stored dry shrooms should remain safe to consume indefinitely. They may just not have a strong effect. There's more research that needs to be done, but a rule of thumb is that if mushrooms are unprocessed and exposed to air, they lose a fraction of their potency over time, says Dorna Parang, a psychedelic researcher and Mudwater psychedelics advisor, also a dear friend. The time it takes for mushrooms to go bad depends on the type of mushroom. Fresh mushrooms only last you about three or four days. The fifth day, start looking for things. Dried mushrooms can last for over a year, estimating that on average, they last about a year and a half. Mushrooms in powder or capsule form will generally last around six to 12 months. Any method that results in the mushrooms being turned into powder or broken into fine pieces results in quicker degradation due to oxidization. Mushroom chocolates, on the other hand, can last for years in the freezer. Still, this will degrade the quality of the chocolate and cause the shrooms to lose their potency. Eat your shroom chocolates right away for the best experience. Magic mushrooms go bad for many reasons, mostly related to their storage and preparation. For this reason, properly drying and storing your mushrooms is a must particularly after wild foraging or harvesting a homegrown batch. Here are the top reasons why shrooms go bad. Number one, they were stored in the wrong kind of container. Fresh mushrooms stored in plastic are prone to bacterial contamination. A Tupperware or Pyrex container should work for dried mushrooms. Number two, they were stored in the wrong environment. Mushrooms stored in the dark will stay potent longer. It is best to store dried mushrooms in a cupboard away from sunlight or air, as light can cause them to lose potency. In addition, make sure you keep dried mushrooms someplace dry. They can go bad if they're somewhere too humid. Number three, they weren't dried properly. Mushrooms should be thoroughly dried before you store them. If it still has bend or squishiness to it, that means it hasn't been fully dried and is still retaining moisture. No matter how well you store the mushroom, the internal moisture lends the environment to rotting, which is not safe for consumption. The easiest way to dry mushrooms is with a dehydrator. 
It would be best if you dried your mushrooms right away, once they're harvested. In addition, pouring cautions against getting very large mushrooms, because these are harder to dry all the way through. Number four, they weren't cleaned properly. People who grow with care will take the extra time to manicure the mushroom thoroughly by hand after picking them. If you look at the mushroom, examine the base mushroom, pay attention to the bottom of the stem and see if there are specks of dirt or substrate still on it. That's a sign that the grower didn't take extra care to properly clean the mushroom before drying it. The presence of soil or debris, especially at the base of the mushroom, is a sign of a dirty mushroom and certainly a red flag that they're more prone to going bad. Number five, they are overly hydrated. Dried mushrooms can go bad if they get too hydrated, which usually results from improper storage. Storage is important. If they're not completely dehydrated, the moisture will create a host for mold. To avoid this problem, make sure the container they are stored in is airtight. You can also put moisture absorbing silica packets or oxygen absorbing packets in the containers. Shrooms that have gone bad will generally have a distinctive appearance, smell, and taste. A good rule of thumb is to look at it as any food product. Use your nose and eyes to see if it is moldy or has any other contaminants on it. Specifically, here are a few signs that your shrooms may have gone bad. They're slimy. Shrooms that are contaminated by bacteria may have a slimy texture. Throw them out if they are soggy or wet to the touch. They have fuzz on them. Rarely, if fresh mushrooms are stored in plastic, they can start to consume themselves, which will cause white fuzz to appear on them. In addition, dry mushrooms that have been stored improperly can develop fuzzy white, black, or brown spots due to bacterial overgrowth. You don't need to worry about the blue color. That's just the psilocybin. They have an unusual smell. The other thing is that they just start to smell funny. A mushroom that's picked up bacteria might have a sweet or dirt-like smell. They're soft or malleable. Dried mushrooms should be cracker dry. That is, dry enough that they will break if you try to bend them. If they are soft or malleable, they may have gone bad. A good rule of thumb, if you lightly pinch the mushroom, and you feel the mushrooms are still spongy and bounce back to the touch, be wary. <laughs>